I need to suck in my room. Alright, <clears throat> let's do this. Every year in summer, there was this landmark rumor that Vogue was coming to Singapore. And then finally last year, we found out that it was all real. We immediately throw our head into the ring to actually pitch for the project. It took us eight months. End of 2019, we got the approval. January, we made the announcement, and here we are. So one of the most important people is the editor-in-chief. And we ended up interviewing and speaking to candidates from Singapore, the US, China, the UK, Australia. After such a, such a long process, Norman was uh, not only qualified. We knew that he was a great leader, and we were sure that he was able to think out of the box and be creative. When I got the call, I wanted to call him immediately. I was literally, you know, like uh, giving him some hints. When I was finally told, you are the editor-in-chief, it was so surreal. His face was all, it was sunshine. Our vision for Vogue Singapore was always not to be yet another international edition of Vogue. We needed to be bold. Authority in fashion. Something that would shake up the market. How do we innovatively create impactful visuals and intelligent stories that inspire our readers to drive change for good? But, you know, vision and dream means nothing without, like, a rock star team. Hi, I'm Amelia. Hi, I'm Ali. I'm Dana. Hi, I'm Desmond Lim. I'm Vanessa. Hi, I'm Paki. I'm Chandri. And I'm Weiti. Hi, I'm Natasha. I'm Jude. My name is Bettina von Schlippe. Michael von Schlippe. I'm Norman. It was almost a dream. Everyone was really looking forward to it. But then COVID hit. Oh no, what's going on now? We watched countries go in lockdown and we found ourselves in lockdown. On my first day of work, it was actually the first day of lockdown. And we couldn't leave our homes. Everything was via Zoom. How do you bond with your new team over Zoom? It was just a very odd feeling. What this has led to is a billion Zoom calls like to back. Mornings, we would do meetings with our internal team, do work in the afternoon, planning. And then in the evenings, we would dedicate it to training that we had to go through from London. Pretty much the whole world was feeling lost at this point. We needed that whole camaraderie, I mean, that kind of team building at the start, and we didn't have that. Trying to keep morale high during a pandemic was one of my top three things to do on a daily basis. Happy Monday! <laughs> it's Friday! <laughs> we actually talk a lot. Uh, you brainstorm a lot, but the energy somehow cannot be translated into something else. I also feel the pressure and I feel the anxiety. It's just a lot of talk and not a lot of doing, which is ah. frustrating. For us, it was just like problem solving, problem solving, problem solving all the way. We slowly saw our plans getting whittled down. It literally came to a halt. Constantly changing your plans on a day-by-day -day basis, actually, of what was feasible. We were very much like, is this even going to happen? It was a lot of adapting that I had to do. A lot of cooking, a lot of exercise. I tried making pasta. I got really into veganism. I picked up uh, embroidery again. I dabbled in some candle making. Working out with June because, you know, endorphins make you happy. The problems were piling up. Logistically, how do you do hair makeup when you're social distancing? Samples were not coming through. Top without a bottom, you have shoes but no belt. What can we communicate that will actually resound with our readers in a time where everything just seems so despondent? There were just so many eyes on us and the expectation was set so high. When you launch Vogue, there's so much legacy with that. Because how do you live up to that expectation, to that hype? So we had a lot of things to consider. The commercial situation was of course very challenging because the realities in July had dramatically changed. Finally, we understood that we need to postpone the launch. But there's always a positive aspect to every crisis. 
So the game plan for launch after discussing with everyone was as such. We wanted to do a triptych of all Asian cover stars to be representative of our community and of the region. And then we had to move on to a very much a digital launch, a online 360 degree activation called Vogue Studio with clickable points that can lead to conversations, to fashion and beauty activation. Look forward to a lot of diversity and inclusion. We do want to leave a legacy in terms of growing and supporting Asian talent, which is why we're doing the Vogue Foundation, the Vogue Council and the Vogue Prize as well as Club Vogue. We decided on a launch date of 23rd of September and in front of us was a mountain load of work to do. It was really overwhelming, I won't lie. On paper, it all looks amazing, right? And then when things start being executed, you realise there are always plenty of delays. There are just so many things going on at the same time with the same deadline. I remember I had a to-do list and every day I just wrote down more and more things. I said, look, yes, it's difficult, the, the pandemic is happening, we have challenges, but it actually forms a great backdrop for us to think about our values. And also just knowing the meanings and the intentions behind our stories, that really kept us motivated to keep going. But remember, end of the day, we are working on Vogue. What do you want to say? What do you want to do? It should empower you, it should excite you, it should inspire you, right? So, yeah, it's, it's going to be one awesome journey. I was on an adrenaline rush. Everyone was running around doing shoots. Locally, the rules kept changing all the time. We didn't know whether we could shoot indoors, whether we could shoot outdoors, how many people we were allowed on set, whether we needed face masks, face shields. There was no room to breathe. The moment the shoot started, it was full speed ahead. And then you're like, next, 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 next. And then you just off again and in panic mode all over again.